Stop, wrong clip, play the other one. No, not this one either, you know damn well what I really want. And welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer, Long Rim Edition. In today's episode, Zheng. Zheng He, was a Chinese fleet admiral, diplomat, and explorer of the Ming Dynasty. Born in a Muslim household, Zheng He was put in charge of the seven naval expeditions sponsored by the Ming government to impose imperial control over the Indian Ocean trade route, and Zheng, did exactly that and more. With a fleet consisting of over several hundred ships and several thousands men, Zheng's route took him all the way from Southeast Asia to Africa, building connections by trade, diplomacy, and rare but occasional violence. The man was an eunuch, but he has the balls to stand up to any threats in the way of imperial order. Pirates never stood a chance, and many kingdoms were so impressed by this that they actually sent enough tributes to the Ming dynasty that the court just told them to stop coming so often. Named after the historical figure, Zheng is an average size mech with an unparalleled close range prowess so powerful even the terrain shakes and moves around it. Looking at its stat, Zheng has excellent health, 2 armor, good evasion, and not so decent E defense. It's deceptively slow, has an average heat cap, and an absolutely terrible sensor range and tech attack bonus. As for its traits, it has two of them. First, destructive swing, at the end of your turn, if Zhen has made a melee attack against a hostile character, its punch is so powerful, it creates a piece of size 1 hardcover right beside it. Second, weak computer, Zhen gets plus 1 difficulty on all systems checks and saves. Presumably because someone Build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! Not only does it sync well with its following core power and systems, Zhen basically will have hardcover against ranged attack no matter where it is, excellent for something so focused on close range combat. Onto its weapon mounts, it has three, two main, and one heavy, along with five, base system points. As for its core system, Zheng can use its Xiao Li type CQB suite for its core passive. For once per turn as a free action, you can move three spaces in any direction to deal two kinetic damage to any character, object, or terrain on your turn. If an object or terrain took the damage, it takes 10 AP kinetic damage instead. And if it was destroyed in the process, it explodes and deals 1d6 kinetic damage to all surrounding characters except you and knocks them back by one space. This movement also ignores engagement and reactions. And for its core power, Zheng can fully activate its Xiao Li type CQB suite for Xiao Li's ingenuity. For the rest of the scene, you gain 6 charges which can be tracked with a dice, which can be used to take Zheng's core passive again, ignoring the once per turn limit. You can spend any number of charges per turn, all the way up to 6. You also gain a charge for each unique target you have damaged with this action, including character, object, or terrain, to the maximum of 6 charges. For example, you use a charge to punch this guy in his face, and gain a charge back because it's the first time for him to get punched. You can use another charge to punch him again, but you won't gain a charge back. However, you could instead punch a small cover right next to him to gain a charge back, and deal more damage to him. And if multiple people are around the cover for some stupid reason, you can gain multiple charges by punch sploding the cover, damaging all of them. Just remember to do math in the meantime so you can maximize your fists of fury. In a nutshell, Xiao Li's ingenuity is fucking amazing because nothing emphasizes close quarter combat more by having a core power that lets you punch everyone and everything across the fucking map. As for the rest of the license, you get Xiao Li Combat Sheath and Total Strength Suite 1 in the first section. Xiao Li Combat Sheath Even mech needs knuckle duster. Okay damage, short threat, but you can punch up to two people and could use this weapon even when jammed because I would like to see you try making a pair of fists lose reception. Overall, very nice. Total strength sweet one, because throwing things hard enough just works. With a quick action, you can throw a piece of terrain at an enemy within range 5 and line of sight. They take 1d6 kinetic damage and get knocked back by one space directly away from you if they failed the agility save. After all that, even if your enemy passed the save, 
there's now a size 1 hard cover right next to them. If you have a size 1 cover right next to you, you will use it as part of the action. If there's nothing, you just rip a piece of terrain right off the ground. If there's really nothing like in space, there's nothing you can do, unless you figure out how to rip something out of nothing. Useful if you want to make cover and hurt someone at the same time. In the second section, aside from Zhang frame itself, you get Total Strength Sweet 2 and Molten Wreath. Total Strength Sweet 2, Bear Hug People to Death. You now deal 1d6 kinetic damage to a character you are grappling as a protocol. Useful for choking people to death faster. Molten Wreath, punch people so hard you turn their body into bullets. Pick a melee weapon, for once per round after hitting someone with a weapon, your mech takes one heat and there's now a cone 3 pattern of shrapnels coming out of your enemy in the direction of your attack. Anyone within the cone 3 area takes 2 explosive damage each. Absolutely perfect for punch sploding groups of people apart. In the final section, you get Total Strength Suite 3 and DD288. Total Strength Suite 3, Bowling with People. With a full action, you can end a grapple by kicking the other guy off you and sending them back by 5 spaces, knocking them prone. If there's any object or terrain in the way, they stop, take 1d6 kinetic damage from crashing, and get stunned if they fail the hull save until the end of their next turn. Every other character they crash right through must also pass a hull save or get knocked prone. Extremely helpful if you want someone out of the fight fast and dead. DD288 when all you need is one punch. Despite being a super heavy weapon, you can use it with a skirmish action with this profile. Okay damage, short threat, and reliable 3 for decent damage even on a miss. To use its fully powered mode, you must spend a quick action to charge the weapon first. When charged, you will be slowed, take 2 heat at the start of your turn, and get soft cover from all the glows too. When you start your turn with your weapon charged, only then can you use this weapon with the following profile. Humongous damage, decent threat, and absolutely ridiculous reliable 8 for big damage even on a miss and knockback 8 to punch people out into space, and that's not all. If you punch an object or terrain with charged mode instead, you deal a whopping 30 AP explosive damage. And if they are destroyed in the process, all nearby characters excluding you take 1d6 kinetic damage and get knocked back by one space. After hitting anything with charged mode, you lose the charge. You can also stop charging as a free action, or get stunned and shut down. As a conclusion, Zhen is a close range combatant with devastating punches and could be surprisingly resilient to incoming fire. However, while IPSN doesn't really have strong points in tech attack or defense, Zhen is more vulnerable to it than almost anything else. Always close in on your enemy, pummel anyone that gets too close to you, and Zhen will serve you very well.